this is Amber Boy from Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a different type of video for me. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. We're going to touch up what's in the freezer and plan some menuing for the next two weeks. We are starting a new month soon. I have on my menu board... Plan to the 31st, and I just wrote down up until the 6th. And my husband, when we went to Hannaford's yesterday, he picked up some stewing beef and some chuck roasts for the crock pot. And we have two of those, and I have two eye rounds. And it's too cold to be grilling steaks and icy out back. So on Saturdays, we like to have a beef night. I have my menu themed. I have sauce here, so I know it's going to be some type of a spaghetti night. And I was just gifted five pounds of Mexican taco meat. And one of them I'm going to be making Mexican meatloafs with. And all I have to do is just add the eggs, the panko bread, and some of the onion. And I'm going to pan them up and put them into a, a meatloaf form. And it's going to be... Very, very, very yummy. And I just got a ton of drumsticks, which we're going to be having this Sunday. My husband likes his deep fried, so we're going to take them out of the freezer and thaw them. And then the rest of them I'm just going to throw into the crock pot. And I'm not sure if it's going to be with stuffing, cream soup, or barbecue sauce yet. So I've been looking on Pinterest. is where I get a lot of my meal ideas. I know a lot of you rely on groups. And ask people, what can I do with this? What can I do with that? Do yourself a favor. If you don't have Pinterest, open up a Pinterest account. If you have time to go to the Facebook groups, you have time to start your own Pinterest account. And you can follow me, Let Us Eat, Cook, Clean, and Family with Suzanne Ridgeway on Pinterest. The same name. And on with the menu planning. We always have pizza on Friday nights. Sometimes we order from the local pizzeria. It all depends, and I like to do pizza on MacGyver Friday when MacGyver's new. And it's new tonight, and it's a special episode. So I'm looking forward to my TV tonight. At this time, look for that red subscribe word down in the description box area and click on it. And then there's that bell that you can click to get all the notifications for all my videos. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a little bit of baking today because I have some free time in the kitchen, and I'm going to tackle my medicine cabinet project. I'm going to be putting the bins up on top and organizing it. I'm going to put the open bag with the chip clip in front. that are open in the back of the bin here. It seems like everywhere I go in my home, even the smallest of a pile that is organized ends up turning into clutter and just getting out of control if you don't maintain it. And the big key to keeping things clutter free is downsizing on everything that you're not using that's old or obsolete and to declutter a few times a week by spending 15 minutes a couple of days just to keep things even keeled. And I find now that I have a cleaning schedule, my house is more manageable and less cluttery, even with my 11 year old here. And I can stay on top of everything and do projects like these to keep the house completely in a man manageable way that I am happy with and my family's happy with. We recently redid the entire refrigerator and took everything out and I replaced them 
with these chopping boards that are clear from the Dollar Tree. Because the placements are nice, but then they kind of add to the clutter when it gets messy. And all I keep in my refrigerator is a Lazy Susan with the drinks. Then I have cheeses and meats that last a really long time and have a good shelf life. I keep my celery on top because the keep fresh. It doesn't fit down there. And then I have tomorrow's dinner for th which is a roast and it's thawing on the top shelf with my eggs, as you can see in the background, cream cheese, and then we have our bacon. And that's just extra ricotta cheese from the lasagna I had last night. And we did the doors, that's where we keep the condiments and big jugs and water down on the bottom. The only thing I need to pick up at the store is milk. If you think you've run out of storage space, try looking it up. I have used the top of my refrigerator freezer for years. And when we moved into this apartment almost 10 years ago, there used to be a cabinet up here. And I was excited when the refrigerator didn't quite fit in the corner. And my landlord had to take the cabinet down. Because that freed up all that top of the refrigerator freezer storage space for me. For canisters now with cereal and bins for chips and bulk items towards the back of the freezer just to keep things off the floor and have a nice functional kitchen. I need more storage ideas for these pots and stock pot and then I have a couple extra mugs there because it's not really working for me and if I'm not paying attention to it everything gets put back in there and they fall on you. So I don't want them on my stove either. I only keep my Dutch oven and a pot full of water because I get really bad sinus infections and it's very dry air here in the mountains in New York. And I keep the pot of water on to help me with my sinus infections. So I want to find a place for these larger boxes of cereals. And I think they're going to work up in that cabinet instead of on the fridge because I want the top of the fridge to just stay like that. And I'm hoping with some effort from everybody in my household, it's going to happen. I just need to be able to store the two pots and the stock pots without them being out in the open. I've seen this trick on Pinterest with a bin and putting your muffin tins, donut pan, Platter guards, seasonal platter, larger muffin tins, and a baking sheet inside. And then I'm going to put them on the bottom shelf. And if it's too tall, I'm going to lay the cookie sheet flat down and then put the bin on top of it, and it should work fine. And it's going to go where the rice cooker was, and that's going to be put away because we don't use it all the time. This is my spare freezer, and we recently took everything out and defrosted it. My husband put it back together and organized it. I'm going to show you some highlights of what I did in my kitchen, like a tour. The makeover on top of the refrigerator freezer. My kids are a lot older now. Those are all pretty much baby pictures. The top freezer. I'm putting open things in the Ziploc in press and seal bags. The Lazy Susan for easy access on drinks. And the clear cutting boards instead of placemats, which by the way are two for a dollar. So you're getting your best buy on the market. I don't have a gas stove, but I still like the burners because I like roosters on my stove here. I ended up keeping the pots up here because it's a nice tall cabinet and it fits the full size boxes of cereals and some extra snacks. My pantry 
And the bends have a home now, and they're not all over on the side. The coffee station next to the stove. My countertop. I live in a very old home, so I do very little upgrades. And I have rooster backsplashes from the dollar store. My cabinets. The bins from the dollar store and the mason jars to contain cupcake liners so they're not all over. And I utilize these bins for bagging seasons and yeast and things as well as cookie mixes and then at the top where I hide things from my 11 year old and then I have a lazy Susan for my medicine because my medicine cabinet in the bathroom is not useful also my command board for my menu planning which is now good through February 6th and I'll post my dinners online on my Facebook page and my Facebook group. I have most common drinking cups above the sink and I downsize on the colanders and the bowls. Also, the bottom cabinet. Dollar store bins and magazine racks to hold paper plates and napkins. And I replaced the old worn out contact paper with a nice bright light pattern. And everything in the cabinet is current and non-expired. And nothing that we don't use is in there. And this cabinet that my team did. And we added command hooks with a skinny bin for the wire sponges for pots and pans and things. And I put my napkin holder in here to hold things because it's more useful. If you would like to see more videos with these, with showing you how to menu plan with what you have in your freezer and pantry, as well as organizing your kitchen and decluttering it so you can cook and menu plan from home, please give this video a big thumbs up and click on that red subscribe word and tap the bell for all the notifications so you can be in the know with what I am doing that particular day. I upload videos almost every day.